In this video, we're going to be having a look at the Hornbill's new Configuration Manager application. This is an app that extends out the existing Service Manager application by providing additional functionality to be able to browse, view, and manage your Configuration Management database. So we access the application through the application bar, and our starting point is providing a list of some of the different configuration items. So here we have a list of some of our assets, and on this list we can break it down a little bit further by selecting the class of asset to computer, and again the type of asset, in this case I'm going to select desktop. Now we also can browse through our services, and in this case the first thing we're going to look at here is our ability to apply policy and non-policy items. So here we see a non-policy and here is a policy item. Now the purpose behind this is to be able to select the things that are most important or have the highest value to your organization. And putting something in policy uh, allows additional configuration options to be able to manage and track that particular service or asset. Now, once we're in this view, we can also drill down on the Explorer. The Explorer is a visualization of the relationships with any of these configuration items. So here we have home working at the center of our view, and we can see problem records, incidents, changes, software, and hardware all related to this particular service. Now, we can filter this view down by using these options. So I've just removed some of our, our uh, requests that have been raised within the desk. We're now left with software and hardware. We also have an impact filter, so here we can narrow this down to just the relationships with the things that have the highest impact on that particular service. So I'm just going to remove, uh, remove some of those filters. Now the next option here we can do is if we select incident, we can now see some of the basic details of that incident within this side panel. We can also click on the plus sign here to extend out further details or relationships to other uh, configuration items. Here we see the user that raised the, uh, the incident and the, uh, the piece of hardware or equipment that is at the root of the issue. Now in this case, we also have integration for the service desk staff. So here we see the Launch Explorer button, which has been made available to the help desk staff to allow them to be able to launch the Explorer from a request. This will help them obviously troubleshoot or try to find root cause within the different related uh, configuration items to the issue that they're trying to investigate. Now we can also do the same thing through the asset. So if we now select the asset in here, we see this now puts the details up front and we can click on this asset to present to all of the details. And again, from an asset management perspective, we also have that um, ability to be able to launch the uh, CI Explorer to be able to look at all the relationships that this asset has with users, uh, other bits of software and services. And we also have the ability to select any one of these uh, CIs that we see visible within the diagram. And by clicking on the Explorer icon within the toolbar, we can now put that particular CI uh, into focus on the visual diagram.